So you want to conquer your fear of the camera and start making yourself marketing videos. There's just one little thing holding you back and that is putting yourself in front of the camera lens is scary. Don't worry, in this video I'll show you four simple steps that I use to overcome my own fear of the camera to help you overcome your fears and start using video in your own marketing. Hey there, Caroline here, copywriter and marketing consultant for over a decade. So for years, I deliberately stuck to putting out texts such as blog posts and written social media posts and maybe dare to put some pictures of myself out there if I was going to be really wild, even though I knew that if I would just put myself in front of the camera and make videos, my engagement would skyrocket because video does perform better than any other type of content. But I just couldn't bring myself to do it and I was willing to sacrifice the extra engagement and client if it meant I got to avoid the video camera. But then I finally took the plunge and when I did, all I felt was regret that I didn't start sooner and I actually only started putting myself on video here on YouTube a few months ago so I can definitely remember what it was like getting started and defying that initial fear. And by the way, I'm still dealing with camera anxiety but I'm doing these steps I'm gonna share with you today to help me shoot the videos even though I'm still feeling weird about being on camera. So here are my tips for you to get over your fear of the camera and get started with video marketing today. Let's go. Step number one is to identify your fear. So the first step to overcome any fear is acknowledge that you have it and identify exactly what you're afraid of. So why are you afraid of the camera? Is it because you think you will look silly or that people would judge you or that you're not photogenic? Whatever it is, identify it and then deal with it. And I'll tell you how to deal with it right now. Step two is to address the fear. So once you've identified the exact cause of your camera fear, ask yourself this question, what is the worst that can happen? So for example, if you're worried about looking silly because you have no experience being in front of the camera, which is by the way, a legitimate fear, then what's the worst that can happen? Will you lose your home or lose your business or even have people laughing or pointing fingers at you? I'm thinking probably not. The fear is often in our heads and even if some people do point fingers at you, remember that they are the losers for not being brave enough to conquer their own fears like you are, so they sit and mock others who do. And such people are not in your target audience anyway, so who cares what they think, right? So if you've gotten any value from this so far, remember to like and subscribe so you get my future videos. Step three now is face your fear. So once you've identified your fear and asked what's the worst that can happen, it's time to face your fear. So I'm telling you the hardest part about anything is getting started. So just have that as your goal, get started. Make the first video. It doesn't matter if it's good or not. So if you put too much pressure on yourself, it's harder to get started. So think about it as going to the gym. It's that psychological barrier of getting there the first time that's a challenge, right? Because once you've been inside the gym and you realize it's not scary, then going back isn't that hard. So just like your first goal for the gym should be to just get inside the building, your first goal for your video marketing should be to just get in front of the camera. So step number four is to keep your eye on the prize and have a learning mindset. Okay, so now you've created and posted your first video and congratulations. So hopefully that sense of achievement and pride in overcoming your own fear gives you the fuel to keep going. So it's time to adopt a learning mindset because it's not about being perfect because you're not going to be perfect from the beginning. It's about improving and always getting better and always practicing. Remember when you were a kid and you were good at something, whether it was school or sports or being a good friend, just knowing that you got better at it probably made you enjoy it and made you want to keep improving, right? So I've got a secret for you. It's no different when we are adults. And if you do start to lose your motivation, just remind yourself of the prize, which is how your audience will grow, how they'll feel more connected to you through your videos and how your business will grow as a result and you earning all those financial milestones you dream of. So do you have any tips for overcoming camera fear? Then I'd love to hear them if you're willing to share them in the comment section. And now all there's left to do is to just get started, have fun.